let us quickly revise the topic uh, frostbite with the help of an mcq the question is in case of frostbite thawing is done at temperature so the treatment of frostbite is immediate thawing and this thawing is done at a temperature of so this is a value based mcq it's a memory based one we'll come back to the question but before that let us try to understand what is frostbite and uh, what is its management frostbite is a thermal injury in thermal injury there are three entities one is heat induced heat induced in the sense uh, the examples are heat cramps heat prostration heat stroke and also hyperthermic anhydrosis these are heat induced ones whereas cold induced ones very important one the one which we are discussing is frostbite we also have trench foot which is also known as immersion foot and also chilblain these three entities are actually peripheral cold injuries so there is a sub division here when i say cold injury it can be peripheral it can be central like the whole hypothermia is a whole centrally induced cold injury but this frostbite trench foot and also chill blains these are peripherally induced cold injuries we also have a neonatal cold injury which is again central within this cold injury that is peripheral cold injury we have another classification one is freezing and other is non freezing the only one which is related to freezing is frostbite so what is the importance of frostbite in frostbite the temperature reaches less than 0 degree centigrade ice cold temperature that's the reason the tissue gets freezed so whenever there is a freeze material what we do we do thawing not rewarming rewarming is done for non freezing injuries so the rewarming is treatment of choice for chilblains trench foot and also we do rewarming for neonatal cold injury and hypothermia so what is your take home here when i say trench foot it's a uh, sorry when i say frostbite it's a freezing peripheral cold injury which requires immediate thawing and the question was about the temperature at which the thawing is done so we'll get back to that but let us finish what we have started we have other uh, thermal injuries like burns scalds electrical injuries and lightning strokes which will be discussed in forensic medicine so what about presentation of frostbite frostbite is a freezing cold injury so whenever there is a, a, a coldness it mainly affects on the sensory system that too in the pain and temperature modality so the patient will have erythema pain and very importantly anesthesia of peripheries why i am saying peripheries because the most commonly involved areas in case of frostbite are the acral areas and the distal extremities as you can see here you can see vesicles okay bullous vesicles which sometimes becomes hemorrhagic in cases of severe damage or extensive damage so this anesthetic effect which is felt in the arms is described characteristically by the patient as the chunk of wood the chunk of wood feel is seen in frostbite which can be a potential question or can be a clue in an mcq which is clinically framed now uh, introduction to the frostbite is done we we'll look into uh, the main management part here when it comes to management as i already told you because it's a frozen tissue it should be thawed rapidly and completely why i'm stressing on this point most of the times when a patient presents to emergency with this frostbite the physician will start this thawing procedure but let me tell you the thawing procedure in the water bath is extremely painful 
and most of the times most of the times thawing will be incomplete and slow because of this extremely uh, painful condition that's the reason when we do thawing procedure it requires narcotic analgesics and mostly we we give ibuprofen for these patients okay 400 mg per oral so always the thawing should be done under the effect of narcotic analgesics so that it can be rapid and complete so when you do thawing what temperature you follow the temperature is usually 37 to 40 degrees centigrade next time they might give temperature in foreign heat to confuse you in the options so please also remember this 99 to 104 degree foreign heat is the temperature range so we will not go beyond 40 degrees but you can decrease the temperature in case if the procedure is extremely painful even after giving narcotic analgesics if the patient is unable to tolerate this procedure at the point of time you can decrease the temperature okay you can reduce the temperature in between 35 to 37 but the usual temperature range is 37 to 40 and the preferred range is 40 degrees centigrade and what is the time period the time period the thawing should uh, usually takes 30 to 60 minutes so all these are value based and memory based ones so please remember rapid thawing at a temperature of 37 to 40 or 99 to 104 in a water bath for 30 to 60 minutes under the cover of the narcotics but when you start doing this thawing there will be pain and there will be some erythema and there will be development of bulle when there is development of bulle don't stop it because it's a response to the treatment if there is a large clear distal bulge it is more favorable than formation of smaller proximal darker blebs because clear bleb formation is a good prognostic sign and next thing so this is one way of treating frostbite this is like the definitive way there is some supportive treatments too that while you are treating this patient you also need to take the following precautions for example it's it's a first aid stuff to remove the person from the environment and please no friction or massage and encourage the patient to gently move his parts while we are doing this procedure called thawing underwater bath okay and once the thawing is done ask the patient to <coughs> sorry elevate the limb and also place the cotton pledges between the toes because it sometimes the toes will be macerated and uh, when you see a clear vesicle after thawing if the vesicle is clear okay you can do an aspiration with the needle that sterile aspiration but in case if the vesicles which are noted on the limb after thawing are hemorrhagic so hemorrhagic vesicles should be left intact it can be a future question again because these hemorrhagic vesicles if they are aspirated it might lead to desiccation and infection so in order to prevent desiccation and infection these hemorrhagic vesicles are left intact and also if in case the vesicles are already broken let's do the debridement and do some sterile dressing with aloe vera gel and also while we are doing all this thawing procedure we need to consider giving tt prophylaxis and also streptococcal prophylaxis so these are the other precautions which should be followed so how do you manage frostbite we do thawing and also we take care of all these precautions then my next question is what is the role of amputation or debridement in these cases so it is not done immediately what is the reason because you need to wait for the clear demarcation line to develop for example if this is uh, like uh, the frostbite finger the digital extremity if you can see the demarcation here in the early stages the demarcation line may move up so that's the reason you need to wait for the clear demarcation line to develop so that you can go for amputation or debridement if necessary okay so the clinical demarcation line might take more time if you are eager enough if you want to treat the patient early we have an investigation called mr angiography so what is the importance of this mr angiography 
in case if you wanted to if you want to visualize this demarcation line early that is before clinical demarcation this mr angiography can give you a clear picture so what is your take home when i say the role of amputation or debridement yes there is role but not immediate because you need to wait for well demarcated line to develop so that a normal tissue can be demarcated from the gangrenous tissue and what complications does this patient develop the complications are compartment syndrome neuronal injury which continues and very rarely the patient might have cutaneous carcinoma nail deformities and also epiphyseal damage is noted in children and next thing is is there any other modality of treatment apart from thawing and amputation yes in severe cases we can try thrombolysis to save the patient if the morbidity is very high thrombolysis is tried with rtpa which can be given either iv or intra arterial and we add an adjunctive heparin to it so this is done only in severe cases and there is according to hayes and latest tradition there is also role for prostacycline analog which is eloprost and this eloprost is given within 48 hours after thawing or reworming and it is proven to be beneficial but not much study is done but what are the modalities of treatment the plus means which are useful are one very important is thawing in the water bath which is already done and the other modality is either amputation or debridement and the other modality which can be tried is prostacycline analog that is eloprost and the fourth in very severe cases we can do rtpa or thrombolysis with heparin as an adjunctive but not useful sometimes they might ask you which of the following modality is not useful in management of frostbite so steroids have no role calcium channel blockers have no role hyperbaric oxygen has no role and sympathectomy has no role because hyperbaric oxygen has many other indications but it is not useful it is not proven to be beneficial in case of frostbite and this point is very important and they might give this option in the question to confuse you now after the discussion you have a clear picture about what is frostbite and how it is managed i told you there are um, what we call uh, non freezing variety of cold injuries which are peripheral that is trench foot and chill blains so this trench foot and chill blains because they are non freezing only reworming is done and we only give supportive treatment to these cases and now let's come back to the question so in case of frostbite thawing is done at a temperature of so when it is done it is done in between 37 to 40 degree centigrade and the options given are 38 and 40 still you can choose 40 as an option okay still you can choose 40 as an option because it is the best one when he cannot tolerate this you have to decrease the temperature and the temperature can even go up to 36 okay not beneath that 